a minute before we got there, they and they know exactly where I'm at. Sometimes you have to wait, you know, just for a minute. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Hey. Good morning everyone. So today we are heading to Tasmania. We're going to the city of Hobart and we're just gonna go for like two to three days. So right now we're heading to the airport. Let's go. to Hobart. It is such a small place. The airport is very small too. We're heading to the hostel now so let's go. I made it to the hostel. It is so cute. settled in my hostel it is so cute and cozy and it is definitely cold in here but I just love that like cozy vibes there's like a chimney and everything and I decided to extend my stay because I really want to go to Mona and Mona's only open on the weekends so I'm definitely gonna stay for two more days now and I'm excited because I can't wait to look at this little island and see what there is to do and we're just gonna walk around and see what's open because I'm freaking hungry so yeah let's go I just realized it's the oldest tavern, 1807. Okay, let's go in. This bar that I accidentally came to I was just walking around and I saw these people taking pictures of this bar and I was like oh it might be famous and yeah it is the oldest pub in Australia from 1807 hello good morning today we're still in Tasmania and we're going to a tour it's a full day tour so let's go get ready Okay, and we're off. It is currently 6.30. Today we are doing a day trip to Broomy Island, if I'm spelling that correct. It's like a beautiful island right here close to Tasmania. And they're gonna give you like fresh oysters, cheese, chocolate. I'm so excited. Let's go and see. I'm just waiting for the tour bus to get here. <laughs> to the neck of Bruni. This is literally the middle of the island and we're gonna climb up some stairs to see the view. Let's go. You can see that this painting it has like two trees right here and it's the ones right over there it basically hasn't changed that much since captain james cook came and conquered australia it's pretty cool
it says here, completed 1838, Cape Rooney Lighthouse is the second oldest lighthouse still standing in Australia. <laughs> God. so I just finished the tour they just dropped me off it was a full day like almost nine hours I think we got some cheese tasting some beer tasting some honey tasting we also got some oysters it was a lot of everything it was so like cute and small businesses so I definitely recommend it if you're ever there definitely go it is so cool for the price it's kind of nice so definitely do it uh, but I'm just very tired right now I'm just gonna go back to the hostel have a little nap but So behind me is one of Australia's oldest bridges and it was built in 1823 by convicts. And it's really cool, they give you like this like little thing with a map and it gives you all the info. Richmond is actually one of the oldest villages here. So it's really historic to see everything around, very like little small town, Victorian-esque. Let's go see more stuff. So there's like this like model village Hobart town that takes you back in time. Let's go and see how it looks. So this is like a representation of how it looked back in the day. We're here at Irish Murphy's. Do you know what this is? It is a Guinness and steak. <laughs> yeah, a Guinness and steak beef wine. Okay, I don't know why I'm asking you because you're not Irish, right? Oh, it's fine. <laughs> but yeah, it's with, it's with tassie beef. It looks delicious, so I'm gonna destroy this. Hello everyone, good morning. This is my last day in Hobart. That means that I'm gonna do my last few things. I'm gonna go to Mona, which is one of the most famous museums here in Hobart. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. And we're gonna take a ferry to get there. Let's go do that. Let's go.
so confused right now. I feel like I'm in the movie The Menu. It's just so fucked up. I don't even know a lot of this stuff. It's crazy. I don't get it. Okay, we didn't talk about this museum. It was a lot. I don't think I liked it. I just felt so uncomfortable the whole time. I thought I was artistic and I thought I knew about art, but this was in a whole nother level. Like you have to be really, really fucked up in art to understand this. Sometimes art gets on a level that makes you feel so uncomfortable. It was just so weird. I don't get it. And it's just so interactive like it's one of those like museums where you get lost and you just find your path and even going to the bathroom everything is art here like look at where i'm sitting like i don't even know what's going on up here it's just too much but i guess i crossed it off the list of places to visit but i definitely wouldn't come back also i'm kind of curious because my grandparents they recommended me to go here like they said you have to go to mona and i'm like damn what type of weed are my grandparents smoking that's my opinion on mona sorry if you don't agree but not for me okay just got out of the hostel by the way if you're ever in hobart go to the pickle frog it is such like a homey vibe feeling in a hostel very cold but very cute today is my last day in Hobart. My flight is at 12 p.m. So before that, I decided to go to a very famous market that they do every Saturday morning. It's called the Salamanca Market. So we're gonna head there before the airport. Let's make sure I don't miss a flight. Let's go. I'm Margie. I actually have a, a travel YouTube channel where oh, I like cool. give tips and everything. So this oh, is amazing right. to have Wonderful. you. Oh, thank you very much. Well, I hope uh, you really enjoy the book. Yes, thank you. There we go. Thank you very much. Wow, that was so cool. I met this guy that hitchhiked from Tasmania all the way to London. He had no flights, no nothing. That is crazy. And I like had a little chat with him. He even signed the book and everything. He put my name and everything. Now I have a book to read in the flight. That is so cool. Like it was nice to meet him and everything. I said if I could interview him, but he said that no, he didn't want it to. So I respect that. I should make a documentary or a movie about this. Like if I really like the book i'm gonna talk to him and see if i could make it happen from tasmania all the way to london hitchhiking that's crazy and i hitchhiked for 10 minutes and i thought that was a lot so we're gonna head to the airport right now and let's leave hobart <laughs> everyone so i'm back in melbourne just letting you know that i think i'm gonna stay here for a little bit and find an apartment find a job because i really like melbourne so definitely want to try and see if i can do that but in the meantime i'm staying at a hostel thank you all for watching my sydney melbourne and hobart video if you haven't click on them below i would really love to start doing this as a career and showing you guys info and vlogs about the places that i go so please please subscribe so i can keep doing them Thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys in the next adventure. Bye.